All right, Bob, next question. Sunlit pool service. After reading and following the methods in his books, how does the effect of hot weather and water temperature affect the amount of chlorine needed? Well, um, the certainly the amount of chlorine that you need um, is increased during hot weather because the hotter the water, two things happen. The first of all, hot water makes chemical reactions happen quicker, so chlorine would get used quicker. But secondly, uh, bacteria and algae and other organisms multiply quicker in warmer water because they're multiplying faster. You need to kill them faster, so you need more chlorine. Okay. But the good news is that, that you can cut down your chlorine by having borates in the water, because borate does two things. It certainly it prevents the pH from going up, and that helps. But the other thing is that that borate is a an algae stat. It is a an algae preventer. It does not mm -hmm. kill algae, but it prevents it. And if 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 you have borate in the water, the chlorine doesn't have to kill that algae that the borate is preventing. So yeah, you yeah. will save chlorine just by having borates in the water because you won't need as much. You still mm -hmm. need the same residual, but you use less chlorine to get there. That's great. And yeah, he's. I think he's out in Arizona. So I think, you know, they talk about it from the hot weather standpoint that they get out there. Yeah, well, I, I, I know I saw a joke one time about Arizona where it said, you know, it's 80 degrees in Arizona. You know what that means? And the answer is, yeah, it's sweater weather. Because <laughs> you know, it's usually like 120 out there. So yeah. They yeah. start wearing sweaters when it's 80. 